uh, confession, I artificially inflated the prices of Simply Nail Logical collectibles on eBay for fun. Excuse me? Excuse me? This is the, this is the, the thing me? that came through your inbox you're and you're going like, out. what's going on here? <laughs> uh, I wasn't in a dark place. I didn't need to sell my own collectibles so I could eat or anything like that. It was just funny to me to make new accounts on eBay and bid massive amounts on old collection boxes or limited edition nail polishes and then never pay. <laughs> so funny, huh? Most of the sellers <laughs> didn't even block me the first, second, or even third time. I forced them to relist their items. I mostly did it because I kept seeing people post screenshots of my outrageous bids on some Facebook groups I'm in. It was funny to watch them all freak out and go sell stuff they had been hoarding. I know some people may have gotten some actual financial gain from it and good for them, but I feel kind of bad thinking about the frustration of those sellers. Thank God. Are you bored? You are seem you bored? <laughs> like, what are you bored? This person doing? is kind of like fucking with scalpers, the, the, though. Yeah, but, well, but like, yes, they're fucking with scalpers because <laughs> yeah. they're not paying. Also, just like, the, the, I don't like that in principle. Like, you're saying you're going to pay and then you're not. But you're also fucking with fans, of simply of hollow taco who then see these inflated prices and feel more pressured to spend more on collections and that's why yeah, i'm artificially upset. inflating yeah. the price i guess yeah mm -hmm. this is weird so we're, we're aware that yeah if you go on ebay some of like the older hollow taco collections will pop up sometimes and people are charging much more than yeah like several hundred price. dollars for a, an empty box actually i've seen empty boxes for the og boxes yeah, which yeah. is like ridiculous in so my like, opinion <laughs> we don't like this or endorse this there's not a no i i hate it yeah i will say i hate it <laughs> okay and there's not a lot we can do about it either though yeah, right unless they use my pictures yeah <laughs> and you could say they can't use your picture yeah yeah, yeah there's yeah. there's a few things you can do but like at the end of the day we live in a world where like people are paying a hundred thousand dollars for old charizard pokemon cards yeah People are allowed to sell things they own and people mm -hmm. are allowed to decide how much they're willing to pay for it, right? So I, I don't really know. Yeah, There's and nothing I, really to I, say. I, of course. And I think we have a, a reasonable take on it. I know this happens. I know people do it. I always kind of wonder what kind of a person is doing this. Is it just the person who doesn't really give a shit about Simply or Holly Ta or Hollow Taco? They're just buying it with the intention to do this. Yeah. And of course I hate that person and their intentions and motivations <laughs> at the hate, at the core. But then I also hear the occasional story where like, you know, a fan, um, someone who's participating in this said that they had no choice but to list a collection box and they listed it for several hundred dollars and that really helped them out that month. So am I gonna hate that person? Like I find it very difficult <laughs> to have the same energy for that person. Yeah. So I'm trying to have like a reasonable understanding of this. Of course, like I don't endorse any of it. And my problem with all of it is ultimately that it uh, is an exploitative practice that puts a lot of pressure on fans of me who want the collectibles and then they feel like they have to pay $300 for a box that was released two years ago. And I hate the culture of that. I hate what it does to fans who feel like they need this item. Um, and then they ultimately are the ones who get exploited by people overcharging a box that was like $61, including the nail polish. Like a lot of these boxes like don't even have the product in them. Mm -hmm. So yeah, th it obsessed me for that reason because it's like stealing from you guys. Well, and, and I agree. There's a big difference between like someone who's doing it strategically, like a scalper who's doing it thinking they will be able to make money later. Mm -hmm. And like there's a reason we've put caps on how many of things people can buy and things like that yep. there's a few things we can do but uh you're right there's a difference between that and you know someone who's just like i bought this collection i genuinely wanted it and now i just you know i have a reason to sell it now or i don't want it anymore or i could use the money yeah i know but my advice to to customers to consumers is don't participate in this and i know that's easy for me to say because I have them all and I maybe don't understand what it's like to be in the position where you really just want to complete the set and it's gone or not available anymore from the official store at you know the normal retail price but just um it's just nail polish you know don't spend that okay. don't spend hundreds of dollars on it yeah. Don't don't give that money to someone um, who's just trying to exploit you. And y y I know that whoever it is can kind of change how I feel about it. But I think overall, uh, you can help stop it by not supporting it. 
Yeah. And even this person, right? They're, if anything, they're just sort of reinforcing the idea that there is some like high demand market for these old boxes. Yeah. It's they're not fucking like... people over more by doing this. They're fucking both people over on both sides. <laughs> well, they seem to think they're benefiting resellers, but that's not really a good thing either, right? right. Like, And this is like, I'm trying to, we're trying to build a, a new computer for you right now. I'm having a lot of trouble doing it because it's just really hard to get graphics cards right now, GPUs. And uh, mm. it's because all these crypto bros have just snatched them all up so they could mine. Uh, any, anyway, don't, so are don't they get me being started overcharged on that. Or? So yeah, so it's really difficult to find them. And where you can find them, people are charging like three, four X how much they should really cost. Yeah. And it's super frustrating. And so like the only thing stopping me from like building you a new streaming computer right now is just mm -hmm. not being able to find, yeah, a really good GPU. Anyway. But that's, but that's different. That's inflating just something that's in demand. It has nothing to do with the brand or the connection, right? That's like some people just need the good graphics card to do their job or do whatever. This is like trying to exploit people's like emotional attachment to, you know, collecting everything. I think there's a, there's kind of a yeah. difference. Yeah. Yeah, no, you're right. Cool.